right, guys, Mr. Dell here. I am looking at this is um, CC CPM CC3 course three, and this is section uh, three point two point five, number three dash uh, one sixteen. So it asks me to find the area and perimeter of this shape, right? So if I look at this shape, I see something unique here. I see I've got um, what appears to be two semicircles and a rectangle. So honestly, if I think about taking this shape, uh, let's let's first talk about its area. If I want to talk about its area, I could I could try to find the area of the entire circle, right? Because it's it's two semicircles. If I take those and kind of cut those off, put them together, I would have this full circle, and then I have in the middle of it this rectangle. So let's let's start with that and think through what this would be. I, I know that the rectangle has a, a length there of six meters. And then it tells me that the semicircle from here to here has a radius of 1.8 meters, right? Well, if the radius is 1.8 meters, then what does that tell me about its... Um, uh, diameter, right? Its diameter would be twice of that. So its diameter, if you look, the diameter is this piece of the circle, which if you go back to the, the image, it's that piece of the rectangle. Because in order to find area, I want it, I need to have length times width. So the diameter is twice, which is 2 times 1.8, which is 3.6. So that tells me that that length is 3.6 meters. The whole diameter of the circle is the width of the rectangle. So I can say, I can look at my area here and I can find the area of this rectangle by just taking length times width, 3.6 times the six. And so 3.6 times the six um, would be uh, 21. So area is equal to 21 Point six meters squared. That's the area of the rectangle. And then area of a circle. Remember, area of a circle is pi times the radius squared, right? Uh, in this case, we'll go ahead and, and estimate pi to be 3.14. And I'm going to use little squigglies for my equal now because my area is going to be estimated. Uh, I'm not getting it exact with the pi being estimated 3.14. So 3.14 and I multiply that times the radius of 1.8 and I have to take that radius and square it. So so I, I, at this point I'm using a calculator to do these calculations and that would be uh, fine to do that as well uh, being the fact that I'm dealing with some decimal operations and the whole point of this is to make sure you understand the the math the what you need to do to get there. So my answer estimating is first of all I got to I do my exponents first so it's 1.8 squared which is uh, 3.24. So I'm going to write this out so you see that. Now it's 3.24 times 1, um, then times 3.4, 3.14 times pi. And so I have an area estimated there of 10 point, and I'm going to round to the hundredths, uh, is 10.17 or 10 and 17 hundredths. So that's the area of the circle. That's the area of the rectangle. So in order to find the area of the whole thing, right? So the area of that entire picture. Oop. So the area of this would be those two added up. Is that 2.16 plus um, the 10 and 17 hundredths. So adding those two together, we have a total area of 31 and... 67 hundredths okay and that's meter squared so that's my area of that figure so now the perimeter so perimeter remember is the distance around so i want to find the distance those those two dis distances and then these two which are the if you think about again if i think about this cut up that distance and that distance is really the entire circle isn't it it's the circumference of the whole circle that plus that and then I just need to add the lengths, the top and bottom of the rectangle, which is six and six. So to find circumference, so I'm going to go back to my circle here. So the circumference of my circle 
circumference of the circle is pi times the diameter, right? Pi times D, pi times the diameter. And the diameter we know, we, we, we know that it's that uh, 3.16. It's that whole length right here, 3.6, excuse me, 3.6. Three and six tenths. So I'm going to say the circumference is approximately, I'm going to use pi being approximately 3.14, and I'm going to multiply that times the diameter, which is three and six tenths. So if I take uh, pi times the diameter, uh, I get approximately. 11 and uh, 11 point, I'll just go to the thousandths this time, 11.304, 304 thousandths. That's the circumference. So the circumference of the, or I should say the perimeter of my final picture, my total picture, perimeter would be the circumference, right? Plus each of these lengths here, which is six and six. So 12 to that, would be 23.304, and that would just be in meters. Oops, there we go, move that over. So I've got my area, I've got my perimeter, and there you have it.